Hi, today we'll take a first look at the Apple iPod Touch, second generation. Not a lot has changed in the new iPod Touch. The first thing that you won't notice because it's on the inside is you get a slightly faster processor at 500 and something megahertz versus the previous 400 megahertz processor found in the first generation iPod Touch. What you will notice is that it's all metal design. Nice and tapered. It's actually eight and a half millimeter thick, but you don't notice it. It feels lighter in the hand. And you got on the top a sleep wake button and the on and off button. Same thing right here. And the Wi Fi antenna on the left side. You have the volume up and down control. On the other side, there's nothing. On the bottom, you have the uh, headphone jack and the 30 pin dock connector. This works with Nike Plus because it's got a sensor built in for the product. Let's see if we can zoom in on the headphone port. One thing you might want to know that there's a little white strip down there. And that tells Apple if you've gotten water damage. On the front is the home button. To turn on the iPod, just drag the slider to the right. And if you have a passkey, why don't you enter that too? This is the home screen. Let's review of the iPod Touch 2G. However, the main reason I was making this video is because there's a new firmware. It's a beta. It's called 3.0. What does 3.0 have in it? Well, it has some pretty nice enhancements that I think are pretty, pretty nice. First, I'm going to make sure this is looking nicer for the video. That will actually help it brighten us, I'm not sure. Let's start off in the general. You have a new feature that used Nike, that Nike, the chip supported Nike Plus also supports Bluetooth and that will be enabled. This means stereo Bluetooth and stereo Bluetooth will be supported in the iPod Touch 2G and in the iPhone 3G. The original iPod Touch does not support Bluetooth and the iPod and the iPhone first generation does not support Bluetooth stereo. However, it supports the original Bluetooth like it always has. So let's take a look. It supports CowDAV and copy and paste and more. Let's first take a look at mail. Mail has been slightly redesigned. The first thing you notice is when you flick down or flick up or whatever, you'll notice this cool shebang. What that is, it then allows you to search your inbox and you can search it from you can search from to subject and all. Right conveniently right there. You can search for like random crap. And it, let's say it doesn't find that, you can tap continue to search on the server. Another cool thing is landscape. They've added this to all their key applications, such as mail, contacts, and you know, other applications. This allows you to use the landscape keyboard when um doing that. You know. That. Here's contacts. Like cool search. Landscape as usual, amazing, should have been added a long time ago. YouTube, you can now sign in. As you can see, we actually can't connect YouTube. I don't know why, but my iPhone can. You sign in, so that's amazing. It's amazing. I don't really care. Stocks, you can actually, let's say I want to look at Apple, how poorly they're doing these days at 1 1 15, or who cares. I can rotate, I can do this and that, and find their stock price, and whatever. I can also view uh, news and their other crap that doesn't really matter. Who cares? And maps has some new features. Just like the iPhone. Let's say you're, in, you're searching for something, for example, Boston. You have Street View by tapping here. You can, you know, do all your normal stuff and click and zoom in, zoom out, and then exit that with the tap. Let's try to find our current location. You notice how it copies with the iPhone. When I say it copies with the iPhone, you should notice the new blue dot. And if I tap it, given my current location, it says I'm through 82 or 98 Middlebury Lane. That's cool. I can share this location by tapping here. This will send it off in an email as an attachment. 
However, I don't really wish to do that because I don't really care. Just clock, calendar, calculator, all the same. Notes. Landscape is now supported in Notes. So the keypad that you are used to and everything. Check this out. With Sam and Safari. I'm going to load the New York Times to the nice site. While it's loading, I wanted to point out 3.0 is going to ship this summer, 2009. It will be free for all iPhone owners, including the first generation and 3G owners. The iPod Touch, it will be $9.95 for the first generation and second generation, which is what we have here. Right now, it's currently in beta. So let's say I'm going to read this article. I can double tap on it, do all my normal stuff, or I can just tap. And this little bubble for cut, copy, and paste. I can make it go down. I can, you know, copy this by just clicking copy. Hit the home button. And then let's go into the notes application. Now, click this one right here. Also, I want to point out is that I can hold down here and then hit select all. And then. Actually, hold on. Let me get the keyboard. So allow me. Should be able to select all. I want to see if I can actually delete everything at once. Great, I can. And I can just hold down. And then click the paste button. All my text is pasted. I can post this across applications. For example, Facebook. That's a nice application to post things across. So, this is iPhone OS 3.0. Got some nice features in it, including Spotlight. This allows you to search the whole thing. For example, I'll search for a song. I can tap it just by clicking or tapping or whatever and play that song. The reason I want to bring us to the iPod is because I have a new feature called Shake the Shuffle, found in the Nano, now available here. Give it a good shake. It might help me if I just go to song, so I can get a different song. The key is don't shake it up and down, shake it this way. So shake the shuffle. You will also see push notification. This allows, uh, let's say I'm in Facebook, someone sent me an IM or something, I'll receive that without having to worry about not receiving it. Uh, so that's that. And some other features is in-app purchases. So let's say I'm playing a game, for example, The Sims, which is a good demo, and I want to buy something that adds functionality to the game. I tap, buy now, and I'll be very cool buying that. So, um, another thing, if you do join the developer program like me, you will want to get a, an application, I believe it costs 99 cents from the app store, called Free Memory. This allows you to free, because this is a really CPU intensive application, so you'll want a free memory. And this way, it will keep your system running seamlessly. So, this is a look at iPhone OS 3.0. New features and everything, it's really nice. It's going to be available this summer, free for all iPhone and iPod Touch. Free for all iPhone owners, $9.95 for the iPod Touch. So, that's a look at the iPod Touch 2nd generation and iPhone OS 3.0. Thank you for taking your time to watch the video. And that is what we got for you today. Thank you. This video is 9 minutes and 30 seconds long.